All right, y'all, let's try this one last time. Whew, my camera got hot and I had to shut it off. So let's talk about forgiveness. I was on Walter Lee Hampton's page, um, Facebook friends. Or let me rephrase, I follow him on Facebook. And um, he was doing, he did a video series called The Xavier Files. And Xavier Files, for y'all that's not familiar with it, is uh, he was dating a guy named Xavier who turned out to be HIV positive. And for all intents and purposes, it seemed like um, Xavier kept this a secret and wanted to have unprotected sex with Walter and get him infected with HIV, something something to that effect. Okay, um, Walter with Walter discovered he was HIV positive and decided to do a couple of videos about it, and it turned into a big thing. Had the man, you know, call the police on him, had a warrant out for his arrest. So after Amber Geiger was was uh, convicted, both them Jean's brother gave her a big hug. Black America was mad as was mad as hell about it, and was like, why the fuck is he forgiving this lady for killing her brother? And he made a video saying, I, I think that was a beautiful sign of compassion, love, what have you. And I don't know why black folks are all angry about this woman, you know, being, forget, being, being forgiven. And I asked him in his comment section on Facebook, I said, Walter, do you forgive Xavier for what he tried to do to you? And Walter said uh, something to the effect of, no, I don't forgive Xavier because Xavier knew what he was doing. So I don't forgive him. He said, uh, Amber Geiger, on the other hand, it was just an accident. She walked in the house and shot the wrong person. Xavier, on the other hand, knew what he was trying to do. And another person named Jerome got in my comment section and said, Rico, you can't compare the two because she, you know, did made a mistake. But Xavier, on the other hand, he chose to uh, do what he did. And more importantly, he said, um, you know, same thing Walter said that you know Xavier wanted to infect numerous people after after the fact. Xavier would have to show compassion and all this other stuff for Walter to forgive him. Guess what? Walter forgave him. After all of that talk, Walter forgave him. And I'm gonna tell you, and so somebody in my comment section, I'm sorry, in Walter's comment section got you know responded to me and said, Why don't people like you, meaning me, people like you just 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 don't just why don't I just, just forgive and forget and let all that anger go? And let me tell you something. Anger is the reason all that shit got done in the civil rights era. Anger is all the reasons why you get off your ass and you do something. Okay? Behavior is all a matter of the concept in which that behavior takes place. That's why these holier than thou forgiving people don't really understand the concept of forgiveness and what it stands for i even tried to do the research on where forgiveness comes from and guess what i can't find out i don't, I don't think i know that it's like from a greek word or something that means pardon like you pardoning somebody I mean like you know how a president can pardon you i mean you, you just forgive the crime you don't forget that it ever happened you just forgive it you let it go Okay, also if somebody owes you a debt. You can say, I'm, I'm, gonna take the, I'm, I'm gonna take the collateral from you. That's how um, you pay me back. So that's where the concept of collateral come from. A bunch of Indians told me this a long time ago at the airport when I was a sky cap. He said, uh, some Indian dudes were flying back home. And I said, let me ask you a question. I said, um, what is the, like, how do you say I'm sorry in your language? He goes, oh, we, we, don't, have, we don't have the words I'm sorry. Like the whole idea of I'm sorry don't exist for us because we all know that, you know, like um we should all know better. So we have to give each other something like gifts, like money and stuff like that. That's how Indian tribes, they paid like a, uh, like, a, like, like, like a debt. And the mafia kind of did the same thing. We, I don't believe in I'm sorry, um, but I, I can give you a kickback, like a hundred grand a week. You know, I'll make it up to you some kind of way. I'll make it up to you. I don't believe in I forgive. I'm, I don't believe in forgiveness. Amber Geiger was not looking for forgiveness. She wasn't even asking for it. She was only sorry because she got uh, indicted and convicted. Once that woman said she was found guilty, the tears started spreading. The woman started stroking her hair and consoling her. The judge gave her a hug. This coon ass nigga. Oh, I don't really want you. I don't really want you to go to jail. After all of that pain that lady bought to y'all family, this woman got a history of racist text messages and Facebook posts. There was not a modicum of decency in that woman when she did all the shit that she did. What she did to both them Jean and all the shit she's got to pay for, that's karma. Revisiting her ass. 
You don't. You do not interfere with the universe. When the universe is giving your ass that work, you let the universe do its job. What uh, Xavier tried to do to Walter was was a betrayal. You can't forgive a betrayal. In The Godfather, that's my favorite scene when Tessio was about to get killed, and he asked Michael Corleone and said, "Mikey, can you get me off for old times' sakes? Can you get me off the hook?" Michael like, "No, I can't." Cold-blooded, ice cold. No, I can't. You know what the fuck you was doing? We all mafiosos here. We all took a blood oath. You don't betray your family members and expect the person who who was betrayed with the blood or the knife in their back to be like, you know what, bro? I'm gonna pull this knife out. It's gonna hurt, but I forgive you. I'm, I'm a forgive and forget. Only Christians and weak people believe in that forgive and forget shit. The f most forgiving people are always on the losing team. Think about that, bro. The person that's always been wronged, fucked up, hurt, stabbed in the back, are always the person that wanted to forgive somebody for the transgression that they did against them. But remember this, bro. The transgression is always a matter of the uh, the context in which it took place. For example, my son took a swing at me. My son, 17 years old, maybe like literally an inch taller than me. I'm 5'11". He may be six feet at this point. But he, um, I'm 230 pounds, solid. You can see I'm not, I'm a kind of big dude. You know, I got big, I'm a big ass dude. I said, Carlino, I'll knock your fucking nose off. But I realized at that age, that's the age when boys try to challenge their daddy. So that's my son. I love him to death. So I, I forgive him. He didn't ask for forgiveness, but I mean, I know he don't fucking know better. So I can forgive that. But he knows when he see my, when he see my right arm, he said, you know what, bro? I better back down if I get my ass knocked the fuck out. That's the difference between that. A, 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 a ass whooping. A penalty that you carry out, consistent penalties, all of that shit supersedes forgiveness because it makes you double think fucking up. It makes you double think stepping into the all uh, into the path of the wrong person. That's why I love the idea of the warrior class. The warrior class, we don't live on forgiveness. The weak people, the citizens, they live on forgiveness and love, and all the other weird shit, oh, I, f I love you, I'm gonna forgive you, I'm gonna forgive and forget, let me tell you something, anger, that I spoke about earlier, you take that anger, and you let that shit carry you forward, angry gets shit done, people was getting treated like animals, getting treated like dogs, getting hose pipes, um, shot on them, getting lynched, niggas got angry, they called to arms, and they, and they, they got legislation passed, because they kept the anger. They didn't put their head down and say, I'll forgive the white man. God, he, he knows not what he do. And those who hurt others hurt themselves. That dumb Christian shit. Let me get back on some real shit for a second. Hold up. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get back to some real, some real talk. There was a man down here in New Orleans about uh, two years ago. Young white boy. Let's say he was, let's say he was 26 years old. Rookie. Ambit on the on, on the rookie team. I mean, Ambit on the New Orleans police uh, force. No more than six months. They served a warrant at the weed man house. The weed man had a friend from, let's say, Baton Rouge. He was fucking a chick or something like that, and they shot him, butt naked. They tried their best for at least eight months to um recreate the crime scene and get this boy a way out of a way out. When all that failed, him, the DA. All, he took a plea deal for like five or eight years for like manslaughter or some kind of lesser charge. You know, it wasn't murder. He said that was an honest mistake. And the little dude was crying his ass. So he said, man, I can't believe I did that. I was only on a force for like under six months, bro. And I told the people, I said, you know what? I, I, I kind of feel sorry for that little dude. The lights was out. It was dark. Why the fuck was a rookie that untrained in a damn house with the SWAT team? What the fuck was that about? Orleans Paris, they, they 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 bear some responsibility in that in that particular um context. I do feel sorry for that dude. I don't know about the forgiving part, because he should have knew if I'm un you know I'm untrained. Why am I even there? But more importantly, him and the police team tried their absolute best to recreate the crime scene like on their own on um like Denzel them did on um training day. Okay, to get that boy off. That's what the point I'm making. Another piece of uh, another another context I'm talking about is this old man also in Orleans Parish, who set this man up and had him arrested and spent like fifty something years in jail. Now he's on his deathbed, and they let him go to go live the rest of his life in freedom as an old black Morgan Freeman looking old black dude. 
the, the DA who set him up, who hid the evidence, was also dying of cancer. He called that man, hey, bro, can you for, forgive me? The black man said, fuck no, bitch, we both about to die. Forgive you for what? My life is done. I ain't forgiving you, bro. Like, you, can, you can go to fucking hell in peace. That's your damn mind. I got my fucking kids are damn near about to die themselves. That's the warrior class, bro. You don't forgive people like that. You take the anger and you set it down and you walk the fuck away. You leave that experience where it was at. You learn from it, but you leave that experience where it's at. You don't go find the transgressor and say, you know what, bro? Even though you ain't looking for forgiveness, I'm going to let you go. I forgive it. Indians don't do that dumb shit. Another thing was Philando Castillo mama said, fuck no, I ain't forgiving your ass for that, bro. Geronimo, whatever the fuck that dude named who killed um, uh, Philando Castile. Shot that fucking dude. Man had a, a, a licensed gun carrying permit and everything. Same thing with, uh, I think, Eric, Eric Garner's mama was saying, hell to the no. Pantaleo, that racist motherfucker, put that man in the chokehold. The man said, I can't breathe. They sitting there wearing shirts, police, wearing shirts that says, I can breathe. Insult and injury. You don't forgive the police, bro. They fucking know what their job is. They trained officers, okay, seasoned. The reason why I kind of felt sorry for the little dude who killed that man in New Orleans, he was only on the force for six for six, um, six um, months. That piece of shit, Amber Geiger, had a history at least two years back talking about racist shit during the Martin Luther King parade. She could have turned that job down. Her and her married boyfriend. Hit like, share, and subscribe. It's hot as fuck in this truck, man. I'm out of here.